I feel good. Da -da 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 -da. How are you feeling today? Post your comments below. How is your manifesting going? Oh, by the way, it is day 28. Doing math in my head here. Let's just start each video with that envisioning in the moment that this video is going to be freaking amazing. Wow. Take a quick second to just let that sink in. That, oh, juicy. So much to share. Being long-winded is the bane of my existence. Ho'oponopono. Thank you for the opportunity to keep working on myself here. Lots of things manifesting. I had joined a compassionate inquiry group. Gabor Mate teaches it months ago, hoping to find a practice partner because I've only done the self-study course. So it's kind of like in a vacuum. There's no practice. Of course, today, somebody posts they're looking for a practice partner. I'm pretty sure they've taken the year-long intensive program. Even though I've only taken the short one, they're willing to work with me. So we'll see how that plays out. We're in different time zones, so we're coordinating. Oh, hmm. I just made that up. As you may know, I've taken Manifesting Mastery. I got to a day where I normally had really struggled in the past. It was these eye exercises. And I even found the email just accidentally in the last day or two I came across it. So synchronicity timing, where I was reaching out to 2020 basically complaining like, ah, these eye exercises hurt my eyes. So then yesterday I got the lesson and I thought about it. I was like, okay, I know this was a problem in the past, but I don't have to like wrench the eye muscles out of my skull to do this exercise. I can just do it fairly naturally, see how it goes. So I was able to do it for the full three minutes. No problem. I did it again in the shower. I taught it to my clients today. Couldn't have asked for a better result. Fantastic, of course. And the Tinder guy that I thought wasn't going to be a match reached out again. So we'll see. And the great thing about my attitude now is in the past, I'd be like, okay, I have to like try and make it work or figure out if this person is the right person or whatever. And I'm just kind of taking it easy. We'll just see how it plays out because I know now it's not like, the one person, oh my gosh, so much stress. It's like, ah, there's, there's more people coming. I've got so much going on in my life. Anyway, who knows? That's another challenge though, is now that I'm starting to manifest all the things all at once. And I want to take advantage of these opportunities. I signed up for the Matthew Hussey course. I signed up for the dream driven day with 2020. Now I've got a practice partner with compassion and inquiry. I'm going to have to ask in the dream driven day group, perhaps about how to moderate, like I want all the good things, but I also want it to come where I'm not overwhelmed, which is another topic that was covered in the Dream Driven Day material. So maybe I should go back and listen to that bonus recording. Answers are there. See, as I just think of a thing, uh, this is my problem. And now I'm coming up with resources as to where I can find the answer to this stuff. So what is one thing that you're noticing that's that's a little bit different, that's a little bit lighter, a manifestation that's come about, just some change for you when you share, other people learn from you. It's one thing to hear it from me, blah, blah, blah. Marie likes to talk about herself. Okay, because coming from me, it's different than coming from you. Thanks for being with me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and thank you so much for being part of this community. You are incredible.